In this video, we will go through the computation questions from one CXC CSEC paper to examination. To get the most out of this video, pause it here and attempt each part. If you are stuck on any, check the description below for the link to the video that covered that topic. Post a comment. Let me know how you are managing. Last chance to pause the video. Okay, let's go. 1A. We'll work out 12.8 squared first. 12.8 squared is equal to 163.84. It's equal to 163.84. Subtract 30 divided by 0.375. 30 divided by 0 0.375 is equal to 80. 163.84 minus 80 is equal to 83.84. 83.84. Mark spends three eighths of his monthly income on housing. Of the remainder, he spends one third on food and saves what is left. Calculate the fraction of his monthly income spent on food. So Mark spends three eighths of his monthly income on housing. What is the remainder? So the remainder after his spend on housing is equal to the whole amount minus the three eighths that is spent. So the whole amount is 1. So it's 1 minus 3 eighths. Of course, 1 can be represented as a fraction as any number over itself. So it's the same as 8 over 8. 1 is equal to 8 over 8 minus 3 eighths. We have both fractions over the same denominator. So we can go ahead and add the numerators. We get 8 minus 3 is 5, 5 over 8. So the remainder that he has after spending on housing is equal to 5 eighths. Of the remainder, he spends one third on food. So the part 1 asks for the fraction spent on food. Food is equal to, the fraction spent on food that is, is equal to, one third of the remainder, one third of five eighths. We know that of means multiply, so it's equal to one third multiplied by five eighths. There's nothing that can cancel, so we get five over twenty four. For part two, we are asked to calculate the fraction of his monthly income that he saved. We know that he spent three eighths of his monthly income on housing. And we just found out that he spent 5 over 24 of his monthly income on food. So the amount that he saved is equal to how much he started with minus everything he spent. What's the total amount that he spent? Total spent is equal to the 3 eighths on housing added to the 5 24 ths on food. This is equal to expressing both fractions over 24, which is the LCM. 3 eighths as a fraction over 24. 8 multiplied by 3 is 24. So we multiply 3 by 3 as well to get 9 over 24. We add that to 5 over 24. We have both fractions over the same denominator. So we add the numerators. 9 plus 5 is equal to 14. We have 14 over 24 which can be reduced to 2 into 14, 7, 2 into 24, 12. So the fraction of his monthly income spent is equal to 7 over 12. So the amount saved is equal to the total amount minus the amount spent. So it is equal to total amount is 1. 1 minus the amount spent is 7 over 12. 1 minus 7 over 12 is equal to 
1 can be expressed as a fraction by putting any number over itself. So 1 is the same as 12 over 12. So we have 12 over 12 minus 7 over 12. Since we have both fractions over the same denominator, we can simply subtract the numerators to get the answer. 12 minus 7 is equal to 5. The answer is 5 over 12. I am Mr. Dubey. Remember, to get the most out of my channel, please view the videos in order using the playlist. If you found this video useful, please like this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Join me in the next video.